Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. We are in the previous day in our finish this module. We are so close to finish. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. So, uh, ayer no pude estar en, en la clase. Fíjese que nos, nos intervinieron a mi papá de emergencia y tuvimos que estar en el hospital. Ok. Le hicieron una, una operación y, y no fue fácil estar en, en la clase. I know. Yo checo ahí la... la la clase en el vídeo en el vídeo sí lo que se le recomienda siempre eh, es tratar de conectarse aunque no se participe para que no pierdan yeah. la, la, la asistencia porque eh, es bien complejo lo del de 80% pero ojalá no le afecte ojalá que no verdad Ok, teacher, gracias. Okay. Que se mejore su papá. Sí, muchas gracias. Ok. Ok, doki. Escobar is there. Yesterday, um, he was uh, maybe in a soccer match. With, with the kids, I guess. <laughs> Estaba con los niños ayer, el hombre, así es que. Was busy. Okay, Wendy, Wendy, are you so serious today? I don't know why. No, teacher, serious? Never, never ah. serious. <laughs> así, dice, así dice Francis. Always, teacher, always. Y ahora usted me dice never, never, never. No, never, never, <laughs> never serious. <laughs> a little serious. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Jenny is there too. Ana Beatriz, Carlos Alberto, Claudia, uh, María Concepción, Adriana, Mario Villeda. Estamos a un día de finalizar este módulo. Sé que eh, para algunos ha sido muy complicado por las horas que lleva. Pero tiene mucho que ver con los contenidos. For the reason, uh, you need to... Continue until the end. And for the next one, you need to get some vitamins in order to get more energy. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Yesenia, Lisa. How are you today? I, I work. Okay, you are fine. Okie dokie. Let me see how many people do we have now. I got only us 11. Still waiting for the rest. I'm still waiting for the rest.
My goodness, it's not working. Okay. Remember that we are going to talk about the previous class and and also all the participants that uh, they didn't participate yesterday in the last activity are going to do it today at the beginning as a review. So please try to get uh, your information with you in order that you can present it. I got 13 students now. Quienes no presentaron su última actividad el día de ayer, por favor la listan. Because you are going to do it today in the review. And remember the next week, uh, the next week uh, you are going to have free Ya la otra semana se van a poder apostar temprano, ¿cierto? No creo, ya, ya están programados. Sí, teacher, eso estaba viendo, o sea que la otra semana ya vamos de un solo. Ten o'clock, teacher. Ten o'clock. Jesse, eh, la otra semana eh, es vacación, ¿cierto? No dice cuándo van a iniciar módulo otra vez, no. I don't remember, teacher. Because um, a week more. Oh, I guess you are going to have a, a week free. Yes. And maybe, for, maybe for you the... are going... You are going to start at, uh, at the third week of May, maybe. A, a six or a May. Something, something like that. But at least you are going to have free uh, May 1st. Van a tener otro día libre que será a El primero de mayo, ¿cierto? Que será... Uf, primero de mayo. No, domingo es... Primero es domingo, no. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. But, uh, but you are going to have free 10. That is going to be Tuesday, I guess. Pero también tendrán el 10. Será el 10, el día de las madres. Debe haber sido lunes. Bien, que sí. El próximo año cae lunes. But now in this, it's going to be the next year. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Lo sentimos mucho, pero no es este año. I'm sorry. Not this year. Okay, let me check out the attendance now. And then we are going to start talking about the new topic for today. Eh, más creo que ya tengo que ir actualizando estas notas también. Para que queden de una. Registradas. Okay, Adrián del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilia. Ana Lilia is not here. Ana Maria Love. Present. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis, Jose Jonathan, no, Juan Carlos Rivas, Juan Carlos Rivas, okay, um, Laura Carolina, la, la, Laura Carolina, present teacher. Eh, María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. María Elena. Now, here. Mayra Veralice. Mayra. Now, here. Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Is here. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Is here too. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. Present. Carlos. Okay, Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. And Mario. Presentation. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me see what we're going to do is this. Hold on a second, please. Okay. 
one that time over here. Okay, as I told you yesterday, uh, I need that some of you uh, can continue presenting your, your activities. So if some of you are ready, just let me know to start making the review in that way. Just tell me then. Hello, hello. Something is wrong here. I don't know why. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, this is video conference number twenty-three. How to expression? How to use expression to clarify a point? Was the previous one, and today we are going to talk about double positive uh, negatives. Okay, let us make a review about the previous uh, class. What do you remember? Uh, if there are some of you that are going to present your activities, just let me know and you can start doing it now. Just tell me, please. Quienes, quienes, quienes van? Anybody? No? Hello. Are you there? Yes. Okay, if you don't want to, I don't know, maybe my microphone is not working. Yes, Scott, it is there. But you don't want to talk about, okay? Let us make a review, a short review about the previous class, then if you don't want to. What do you remember about the previous class? One, two, three, four. We're talking about benefits of brand awareness. Oh, okay. 
Okay, what else? We were talking about expression to clarify terms or points. Ah, okay, excellent. Let us remember some expressions that we studied yesterday. Somebody else, somebody else. Wait, tell me. Okay, I'm going to continue if you don't want to talk about this. Let me see, I got the wrong slice, I guess. Let me check up again, because I got it here. My goodness, it's not this one. Yes, I need to look for number 24 and number 23. Okay. Hold on a second, please. Oh, I got it. Suddenly my, my computer and I get confused too. Because it's not 23, it's 24. 24, this cost is the previous one. Yes, it is. It is 24. How to avoid double negatives. It is the one. Okay. Um, okay. If you don't want to talk about the previous class, okay, let us talk about the, this question. What is the best way to get customer attention toward your product? Thinking in this question. And the second one said, how would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? Okay. Think in the third one. What is the best way to get customer attention toward your product? Tell me in your own words. What? Mouth to mouth. Excuse me? Mouth to mouth, the best way to get customer attention is mouth to mouth. Mm -hmm. okay. Somebody else? We have started a different way how we can uh, call uh, the attention of customers. But you need to think on those aspects.
Promotion teacher. Okay, promotion. Okay. And what else? What else? I think that also could be give a gift for for buy. Okay, could be. What about the second one? How would you define an effective and effective ways to increase awareness? Give give a bad service for the customers. Okay, when somebody give a bad service, is something inefficient. Okay, so Maria. Is complete the possibility of experiencing multiple multiple emotion. Cameras, 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 cameras. You can find those questions on page number 36, I guess. Six. You can find it there. Okay, somebody else? Creo que han venido así como tímidos también hoy. No sé, I don't know why. Maybe a lot of work to do in your office. That usually happens. Okay, maybe teacher, sorry. Okay, go maybe, ahead. Maybe uh, maintain as a consistent in all strategies, tactics, and uh, the channels use the brand. Okay. Something else, somebody else? Uh, in a, an example of ineffective awareness to be when maybe the logo or the design is very simple. Okay. Or the colors are not very attractive, so people uh, cannot remember. Okay. Right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, let us continue with the conversation that we have here. Um, this is a conversation between Olivia and Leo. Olivia and Leo are brainstorming ideas about branding for Olivia's online business. Read the conversation and take turn practicing it. Okay, I'm going to read it. I don't know if you can see it in in a, in a good way. If not, I can use my, the material instead of using my slice. Can you see it? It's okay. 
It is okay. Okay, I'm trying to uh, to set up an online business selling handmade dresses, but I, I don't know nothing about branding or ma marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To a star, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I made it, but you know it makes it look original. You mean you never notice anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, try to read it. And let me use the material. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop. Because uh, I need to use the book instead of using the slides. I can see here. I got it here. It's going to be better. Okay, you got it there. You can see it better. Okay, you got it there. I am going to read again. As I told you, the conversation is between Olivia and Leo. Olivia said, I'm trying to send an online business selling handmade dresses, but I, I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I make it, when I made it, uh, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia, they will help you with the business. Okay, any question? Any question? No question, Tisha. Okay, no question. Can you read again? Okay, in a slowly or in a fast way. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, show me the way that you want. Okay, I'm going to read again. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses. But I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo or of your business. I noticed you change it. You changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean, you never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Let me see who wants to read it. Veamos quien quisiera leerlo. Eh, 
quien está levantando la mano. Let me see somebody try. try some... Me teacher. Wendy. Ah, Wendy. Me teacher, Jenny. Wendy and Jenny. Okay, Wendy and Jenny. <laughs> okay. You, Olivia, or you, Leo? Leo. Uh, Olivia. It's okay. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't, don't know anything, Olivia? To start, to start you call, stop chain, changing the logo of your business. I, I noticed you change it at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan designing happiness that's not correct i never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when i made it, made it but you know it makes it look original you mean you never noticed anything I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. If you don't have any questions so far from here, we can go and practice in the breakout room. Any question? No. No. Okay, let us practice now. Let me see, Francis is not here. We are, we are having problems.
reported. Okay. Let us do now. Today only has uh, five participation. What the I teacher? Okay, go ahead, Escobar. Okay. Start, Wendy. Yes. Hi. Sorry. I'm trying to set an online business selling hand, handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? So start, you could stop sharing the logo of your your business. I notified you change it, should change, change it, it at the last five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan. This happens. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never notice, notice, notice anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you win the business. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Carlos and me, teacher. Okay. 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 I'm trying to set an only business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, the singing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Thanks. Okay. Somebody else? Maria Concepcion and me, teacher. Okay, Maria Concepcion. Okay. I'm trying to set an only business selling help me dresses, but I don't know nothing about brand. Branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo for your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed, noticed nothing about that story. Mistake when I made it, but you now it makes it look original. You mean you never notice anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, thank you. Next, please. Okay. Yanni. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you, you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop shading the logo 
of your business. I noticed you changed it a lot. Uh, let's fight time last week and fix the spelling. In your slogan, design happens. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never notice anything? I think you better hide in the concert, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? No? Okay. Let us continue then if you don't want to talk. Okay, now I invite you to take a look again to the conversation. And you are going to pay attention to the word in balls. Just try to pay attention to the word in balls. Don't know nothing, don't know anything. I never noticed nothing. You never notice anything. What happened there? What can you infer about this expression? Nothing is nada, teacher. Mm. The expression teacher do not and nothing is say. Okay. What else? Es como no darse cuenta, teacher. No conocer. Teacher. Hello, sir. Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's, it's correct when we say you don't know anything. And in the previous one, the Olivia says nothing. That's why on the next dialogue, uh, Leo actually is saying the right way to say don't oh. anything. Okay. And in other words, Olivia is using a double negative. And Leo is trying to use only just one negative. Because Olivia said, don't know nothing. And Leo said, don't know anything. I never noticed nothing. You never noticed anything. Okay, that is what we are going to talk about in the next uh, minute. But before, let me check out the attendance, please. And I need that you pay attention. Because um, this is really important in order that you can get the right way. In fact, about this topic, uh, it is kind of complicated because some uh, some people say that it is correct to use in that way, but grammatically is not correct. But uh, suddenly you can see, what is that, my goodness, it's an alarm. You can see some uh, movie titles, some book title that they, that they use it, but that's not mean that it's correct. For that reason, uh, in my case, I don't trust to everything that I see in a book. I need to investigate and 
to see it in a real way. But uh, let me check out the attendance first. Okay, Adriana. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Ana Lilian, se le acabaron los datos. No, pero ayer dijo que ya había cancelado. Ana Mariela. Present, teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Francis, Jose Jonathan, Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, Laura Carolina, Present, María Concepción, Present. María Elena, Mayra Veralice, Mayra, Mayra, Saira. Present teacher. Santa Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. Carlos. Present. And Mario Ernest. Present teacher. Ernesto, ahí está. Okay, before we uh, talk in a deeper way about the uses double negative, let us resolve some question related with the conversation that we have it in the material. Activity number three, pair words with conversation again, write the corrections Leo made to Olivia's sentences. I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake. Okay, you can write down the corrections. Miss I already mentioned it, but you need to write down. Teacher, I don't understand uh, why use anything or nothing. Okay. Okay, but, but now, don't worry about that because I'm going to clarify. But before, uh, what I need is that you write down the, the correction that Leo made to Olivia's sentences. Ahorita solo escribamos las correcciones que le hizo a Leo a Olivia y luego le explico. Do you agree with that? Yes.
Okay, tell me. Hello? As you can see in the conversation, Olivia said, um, I don't know nothing about branding and marketing. And Leo said, you mean you don't, you don't know anything. This is the right way. That is what Misael said. And then the second one, Olivia said, I never noticed nothing. And Leo mentioned, you never noticed anything. That mean that uh, what, what Leo did was just to switch, to change the last word, you know? Okay. Let us talk about this. Are you there? Hello? Hello? You hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay, number four, say how to avoid double negatives. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercises below. Two negative in a sentence are considered ungrammatical in English. Okay, read again. I'm going to read again. Two negatives in a sentence are considered ungrammatical in, in English. What is that? What is the meaning of that? What is something ungrammatical? ¿Qué función ejerce? Uh, Esa dos, esa sílaba, an. What is the function? To express the opacity of something. Ah, okay. The recommendation is to avoid use, and then since the result is that. A statement like I don't, I don't know nothing could be interpreted differently as I do know something, you know. I don't know if you got that. That that's two line. The recommendation is to avoid using them since the result is that a statement like I don't know nothing could be interpreted differently as I do know something, you know? Okay, let us contrast and see the example that we have in the book. The first one said, we don't publish nothing unrelated to the benefits of our products. It's not correct. The right one is, we don't publish anything unrelated to the benefit of our products. Okay, somebody I'll read the second example, please. Who wants to read the second one? Only one, solo uno, por favor. ¿Quién lee el segundo ejemplo? The teacher. Okay, this is the company didn't get any additional sales after the event. Uh, but you need to read the previous one. This one. Ah, okay. The company didn't get no additional sales after the event. After the event. Why is the reason why these uh, words are crossed up? Okay, están tachadas.
But not is correct. I think that. Okay. Why? Because in this one, we can find a double negative. ¿Y cuál es el doble negativo que hay aquí? Didn't and no. Okay. And it is better if, yes, if, we, if we say the company didn't get any, any additional sales after the event. Okay, and the last one? Who wants to read the last one? Hello. The expert never said nothing about the drastic change of image, imaging in all products. Okay. And the expert, the expert never says anything about the drastic change of imaging in all products. Okay. What, what happened here in this example? Never is, is negative, right? And nothing too. And for that reason, it is why we need to switch. We use never and we are going to use anything. As soon as you see the word anything, that means that the sentence is, uh, is in negative, right? Because we use any or anything and in negative and also in question. Uh, re related with any. Para quien hizo la pregunta que no comprendía la diferencia entre eh, nothing and anything, uh, the main point here, el, el punto principal acá es evitar usar dos negativos en la misma oración. ¿Por qué? Because in the explanation, en la explicación que tuvimos al inicio, dice que los negativos en una oración son considerados como algo no, no gramatical en el idioma inglés. Por esas razones que se hace el cambio. I don't know if somebody uh, have another question or it is clear. Just tell me. Okay, let us see the example that, that, that so you are going to resolve here. It's quite easy, quite easy for you. Okay, let us go to exercise number five. Correct the double negative mistake in each sentence. The department doesn't know nothing about branding. Number two, the manager never tell us nothing about the plans to improve the brand of the business. Number three, I don't have nothing against Billboard, but the truth is they are too expensive. Number four, we didn't get no increase in sale after advertising on Facebook. And number five, the customer don't want to change in price. Okay, try to resolve. I'm going to give you some minutes to do this. If you don't have the book, just make a screenshot because I'm going to stop sharing now. I'm going to give you a second in order that you can make a screenshot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let us start working. Then we are going to compare with somebody else. Here we go.
Did you finish? Yes. Yes. What about, let, let me try to do something. Um, I don't know if it is possible that you can write down the, the answer right here. Who wants to try with the first sentence? The department doesn't know anything about branding. You write it down on the board, on, on the whiteboard, please. Um, Try to do it.
Yeah. It is not possible? No, teacher. No, no encontré la forma de. Okay. The department doesn't know anything about brand. Okay, what about the second one? Somebody else, somebody else? The manager never tells us anything about the plans to improve the brands of the business. Can you write it down on the board, please? Podría escribirla, por favor. Encuentro el lapicito. ¿Vale? Encuentro el lápiz. Se le perdió, se le perdió. Ah. Mm -hmm. I guess Jenny is still uh, controlling. Jenny Suleyma, I guess you already have uh, the control, maybe for that reason. Okay, we are going to do it in the in the book. Don't worry about. It. In the ah. chat, lo, lo puedo poner en el chat, dicho. Try, try to do it now. Está. Trate de hacerlo ahorita, a ver si puedo. Ok. Yo ni la tenía laqueada, no podía. Jenny, could you explain her how uh, you did in order to... No, no, realmente no lo puedo agarrar, no me da la opción. Okay, Jenny le va a explicar. Jenny. I don't know. Sí, a veces no da opción. No, no me dieron nada a mí. Eh, de a hecho, yo no escribí la oración. No fui yo. Oye, eh, el gos. <ríe> no sé. Okay, ¿quién escribió la oración? Mi teacher. Okay, tell them the process. Dígale cómo hizo el proceso. Uh, en, 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 mi, en mi computadora está en inglés, dice view option, en la parte de arriba. Ahí, uh, al, al darle un clic, despliega un menú y está anotación. Al ah, darle ya, anotación, anota. permite ya. escribir. Veamos a Ana Beatriz y los demás anoten, por favor, que le va a servir. Ah, pero lo está haciendo. De, de... De, de ahí, después, después le despliega un, un menú donde tiene que elegir donde diga texto. Sí, ya le... 
Ajá, exacto, ya le di, pero me lo pone aquí. Bueno, no me deje escribir, esto está raro. Después. Es que yo insisto que ese menú no a todos les sale, porque a mí siempre me sale ese lapicito, se le da clic y jamás sale texto. <risa> Uy, ya ni puedo detener eso. Uy, qué bárbaro. No me da la escritura. Solo sale ese lápiz, pero permite escribir así, como con lápiz normal. Quiero ver, quiero ver si me da ahorita. Bye, Tisha. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. Ahorita, Tisha. Quiero ver si me da la opción. ¿Cuál es? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, we are going to do it in the uh, in the book maybe because Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not possible. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to show you the book. Oh, it's there, it's there. Uh, the manager, okay, continue writing down. Para aquí ya no me dio la escritura, que voy a... Ahí está. Voy a volverlo a poner. ¿Quién está escribiendo alguien? No. This is the ghost, el fantasma, es el fantasma. Sí, teacher, porque ve, todo me lo deja a medias. No, ahí creo que está. De Wendy, Wendy. Me dejo a medias. Alguien está escribiendo, me quitó entonces. Ok. Okay, don't worry about. Uh... The manager never tell us anything about the plants to improve the brand. Run of the business. Okay, right, thank you. If you are sharing, so please stop sharing. Okay. Let us continue. I'm going to show the, the, the book and we are going to do it there because, because of the time. Thank you very much. Okay, we, we have it here. Um, number 36, I don't have uh, nothing against billboard, but the truth is that they are too expensive. Which one is the correction that we need to do here? ¿Cuál es la corrección que hay que hacer en la tres? I don't have. Anything. I don't have anything, okay? So, eso es todo lo que hay que cambiar. Number four, we didn't get no increase. Is any claim? Any okay. increase. Okay, instead of no, you are going to put any. 
Ahí está la clave. And the last one, number five, the customer don't want to change in price. Any change? The customer, uh, yeah. Don't want any change in price. Okay. I hope that all of you got in that way. Ojalá que todos lo tengan así. Let me see here, okay. Okay, in activity number six, uh, you are going to working group, run the following tips to improve brand recognition. One is the most effective and five is less effective. We got it at the right side. We have this provide great customer service, consistently remind your target market. Uh, you are actively doing business and so on. You are going to discuss this one and one of you is going to present it to the rest of the class. And we are going to discuss it. If you don't have it, just you can make an, uh, a screenshot now if you want. And then we are going to work in pairs. Okay, let me get an, another option how you can do it. Okay, I'm going to let you get in the room that you want. Okay, you are going to choose the room in which you want to be. Cada quien elige entonces en el room que quiere estar. No more than four, no more than four. Let me try to do it if it were. Okay, I guess three is, is a good idea to have three on it. But in this case, yeah, if, if I put it five, I assign it. I don't know if you are going to have that, the chance to move it to the ones that you want. Uh, do you prefer, okay. Jesse, you got the invitation.
Music. A los que se durmieron. Tenemos music. Okay. Now, I don't know if you already discussed, but also what I need is that you uh, get agree and you are going to share the info. One of you is going to rewrite all the aspect and you are going to write down from number one, two, three, four, and so on. And you are going to share it and you are going to support your ideas to say, okay, we decide that this is number one because, yes, okay. I'm going to give you five minutes more in order that you can do that, okay? Here we go. All of you need to go to your room, please accept your invitation.
Okay. Time is over. Time is over. Okay, let us discuss now. Team number one. Who wants to be team number one? Let me see. Our, our team teacher, uh, Mixael, and Luis, Luis and Senia. Share, share your information. Okay. Please wait. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, we speak about the rank, the tips to improve brand recognition and we enumerar uh, uh, the tips of the follow. Uh, for example, for us, the number one uh, most effective is use the same logo in all your marketing material for create uh, recogn recogn recognition. And okay. number two, consistently remind your target market that you are actively doing business. Okay. Then, then we decide number three, provide value, exceed their expectation, because after we let the customer know about the product, it is important to fill their needs. Okay. And number four, provide great customer service because uh, in order to offer a good product with a good quality. Okay, excellent. That is your point of view and we respect it. Okay, thank you. Somebody else is going to contrast Yesenia with number five. <laughs> we did uh, develop a hair story that speak to why you are in business. This is important because a good background is very good by the customers recognize the product and the company. I think that's it. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Let us see another team. Next. Who's next? Who's next? Time is running, time is running. In, in my group, teacher. Consider. Okay, show us, order, show us. Share, order, share, order. Share the info, share the info, please. Ah, uh, no. Ah, bueno, no la tengo. Yeah, it's there, it's there, it's there. If you're speaking, I can hear you. Si alguien está hablando, no le estamos oyendo. Mario, please. Constantly remind your, your target market that you are actually doing business. That is number one. You consider that is number one, okay. Yeah. Provide great customer service. Number three, provide value. Exceed their expectations. For develop a hair field history that speaks to why you are in, in a business. And five, use the same logo in all your marketing materials. Ah, okay. Uh, as I can see, you have a you got it in the, in a different way for the previous one, right? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Wendy, le voy a compartir la pantalla. Ok. Uh, number one, provide value, exceed their expectation. Um, number two, for, my, for our group, provide great customer service. Um, number three, consistent remind your target market that you are actively the doing business. Number number four, use the same logo in all your marketing material. And number five, develop a heart fed story that to why you are in this. Okay, you consider that you developed a, a heartfelt story that is speak yes. to why you are in business. It's the number five. And you consider the number one is provide values. Yes, yes. Okay. Try to remember because tomorrow at the beginning of the class, we are going to discuss a little bit about this. Okay, one more. No more, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Let me check out the attendance now. Tomorrow, remember tomorrow is going to be the last day of this module. Uh, we are going to fill all, all the information that is going to be uh, at the right time. We need to wait for that. El día de mañana llenaremos la encuesta todos juntos, despacio, para no cometer errores, ya que uh, a este nivel ya no se acepta que alguien se equivoque o que lo haga antes de que se le den las instrucciones. Ya ustedes tienen el conocimiento, pero siempre de tener cuidado para hacerlo. Eh, es necesario incluso que si lo puede hacer desde un computador es mejor porque eso lo va a copiar y pegar. Supongo que a esta altura ya se les envió el correo donde aparece el inicio, la finalización, el número, toda la información, ¿cierto? Yes, teacher, en WhatsApp también. Okay, you got all the information. Ya tiene toda la info entonces. Perfecto, solo esperamos que nos den eh, la hora en la que tenemos que hacerlo porque ellos lo asignan también. Okay, Adriana. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Ana Mariela. Present. Escobar. Present. Eh, Claudia. Present. Fra uh, Francis. José Jonathan. Juan Carlos. Laura. Present. Mar teacher. Okay. María Concepción. Present. Teacher. María Elena. Mayra Veralice. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. 
Carlos. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta que tengas? No? Okay, entonces solo nos queda uh, una sesión. Y podrán descansar y reponer energías para poder continuar. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. It was a pleasure Good to be night. here with all of you. Good okay. Night. Uh, and don't forget to receive the exercises yeah. in the platform. No olviden resolver los ejercicios en la plataforma. El día de hoy estuvieron dándole mantenimiento, por eso algunos no pudieron entrar. Pero considero que a estas horas eh, ya está disponible. Por si alguien eh, no quiere dormir y quiere trabajar. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Good night. Bye. Okay, bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.